terms of my industry. The people here love our movies and each time that an artist comes here and comes back home, all we hear are good reports about the way they were treated here. But, <laughs> but then I thought to myself, that is not enough for us to come here and go back, leaving the people here longing for more. So I said, the way we have groomed and helped other industries, like the Ghana movie industry, Sierra Leone as well. I think that Cameroon deserves even more than what we have been giving them. So my own little way of giving back to my society, Africa at large, is to come here and see how we can work together as a collaborative effort. And with, with the experience that I've gathered, with the knowledge that I've gathered, and with the friends that I have made in my industry, I, I came here with a proposal that we could do workshops for those talented people that want to break out into the international market, that we could try to provide employment by coming here to do as much work as we can. Whilst we're training the people, we're working with the people, we're collaborating, we have scenery here. A lot of people don't know a lot of things about Cameroon. They just know, okay, they speak French and English, but they're not really sure. They don't know anything about Limbe and the other places. So I'm thinking of ways that we can let the world see the beauty of this place. We can let the world see the talent that we have and work together to make this a big entertainment industry. I run a foundation in Nigeria. It's called the Stella de Masters Arts Foundation. And I'm offering that to Cameroon. We start with like a five day workshop, bringing director, producer, script writer, come in here, do workshops, and help to train the people. And they will not get paid, it is totally free. Just so that we know that our brothers are climbing with us, because it's a lonely road to climb up the ladder and there's nobody with you there. We would love for Africa to come up with us, and we want Cameroon to be one And also, I do a lot of awareness campaigns, especially for cancer, and I'm working with Splash Networks to actually see how we can create more awareness for cancer and see how we can get people more interested to help those people living with cancer. I'm very grateful for the support, for the love that you have shown me. And um, I'm assuring you that I'm here to give my time, share my knowledge and my experience with the people of Cameroon. And I would really pray that God will help us work together so that that industry will shed a positive light to the world about Cameroon, just like Nigeria has been recognized now because of its movies and its music, as opposed to before, where it was just 419 and bad things and kidnapping. So now we go abroad, they say, oh yeah, that actress, you're from Nigeria, you're from Nigeria. So we want as well for Cameroon to have that image and be able to grow its own economy. Because once the industry starts to grow, it increases the capacity of work and the economy is properly wow. built. So I pray that with your support, we will be able to achieve that. So thank you once again. So, <laughs> I and I'm a favorite fan. I be watching closely your career. You know how to sing. You know how to dance. Wow. I'm <laughs> I'm very honored to welcome you here in Cameroon and then in General Hospital. 
So they said you want to come and visit our cancer yeah. patients. This time around, you just came to visit. To no, we have stuff. To give. We have stuff to, to give. give. Pour euh, splash pour vous, vous donner quelques petits dons et vous encourager aussi. I'm also working with Mr. Cyril Aconte of Splash Network to see how we can grow the industry. Um, apart from the collaborations that I want to start introducing, we're also thinking of doing a training, you know, some form of workshop where we can come in here, work with the people in Canada, train them on how we make our movies now, the modern way to do it, you know, how to get break into the international market, the African market and all of that. So we're going to be able to groom new people and our long-term goals are, are plenty. But we're hoping that what I'm doing in Nigeria, because I have a foundation, and we train people for three months and it's for free. As long as you have talent, we do an audition, we train it for three months, intensive training, so that in a year you can have over 200, 200 people that you have trained professionally that can go out there and work. If we're able to also achieve that here in Cameroon, trust me, it will be it will be a big thing and I know that it will revolutionize the industry. If we get people from Ghana, from Kenya, from Nigeria to come in here once in a while and make films, which means that we also have to show them the beauty of Cameroon. We have to show them that the environment here is enabling. You have hotels, you have locations that they can shoot, you have equipment, you know, it's very cozy, you can do nice African movies here. Once we are able to let the world know that, then they will start to come in the way they go to Ghana and shoot, you know. And once they start to do that, it will start to boost the economy. Hotels will start to make money. You will have more airlines that want to fly in here. You have more people that want to rent and book equipment. So those people in here who have those things will make more money. And as the, as the environment and the economy is growing, the industry is growing as well. And then we will see how we can convince the government to revive cinema because that's the way to go now. So if they see that people are making their own movies in Cameroon and it's making a lot of impact out there, they will be you know, encouraged to say, okay, let us start with one cinema. Let's see if our people would love to come here and watch our movies as long as the movies are good. So. I know that if today I am called on to direct a movie, I know that I can. I have learned how to use a camera. In short, I've learned how an actor will be on stage or in a play and how the faces, your, the actors express so many different things with their faces. So I have learned as a director how I can know the expressions on the actors' faces and how I will know what expressions I need for what phrase. And I, in short, I know many things how to use the camera, the lighting. At least I can say the way I used to think, the way I used to to see images will think of how to explain them as actually changed. So I want to say the, the seminar has gone a long way to really improve. I believe I'm still in the stage of learning, learning and whatever I see as challenges on the road, I just think that they are there because they are supposed to be there in order to make me stronger and to make me go professional. I've been a keen watcher of movies. That's one. I've been a keen uh, producer of movies. I'm still learning. I'm a student of uh, the directing industry. Nah, it was rather a timid start, you know, but you know, as time goes on, they've been improving. It's not perfect, 
it will never be perfect. Many people come into the industry for fame. They don't come there to be actors. They want the glory, but they don't want the story, which is a story of sacrifice, a story of much engagement, a story of, you know it, hard work. But what I can notice is there is a change in behavior, especially as the film industry is concerned. Yeah, the eager to learn, some came with so full of themselves, the ones they got in contact with the professionals, they've kind of adjusted and you know, taken their right position and they're flowing. Keep our growing higher every day. Oh.